I am most excited about changing my mindset based on what I've kind of learned in my PGCE year. So I, my training is for high school students, but I'm kind of switching it up and trailblazing with the primary school kids. So switching my mindset and seeing what I can use or what I, how I can use what I've learned in a different context. And also I think the concept of having my own class throughout the entire year and being able to build up a bond with them, I think that's going to be really special and I'm really excited about that. My name is Miara Kaida. I am a grade 4 teacher this year at Edgemead Primary School. I train so hard with uh, two or three subjects that I'm passionate about, which is English, History and Life Orientation. I now have to teach um, a vast range of subjects, actually from natural science and mathematics, to these very, very young minds that are so easily molded at that point. They have a very, they don't have much of a, a, a foundation to work with. So the concept of having to, or the idea of having to help build up this foundation with little kids is a, a daunting aspect, but I can make so much change there, I think. Education in 2022 is gonna make a drastic change based on you know, all that we've gone through in the last is it two years, two years, with the pandemic and also um, the approaches to teach, teaching has changed radically during the two years, but I feel like now coming, coming out of the two years, we kind of have to use what we've learned in an emergency situation. So for example, with online teaching, and online programs, and find out how not to use that in, as an emergency backup, but how to integrate the skills that we've used with technology in now going forward with everyday school, even if we do manage to go back to a normal state, you know? So I feel like that's gonna be exciting about 2022 specifically.